Hello friend. Today I want to talk about premature ejaculation and refined sugar. And specifically the relationship between eating refined sugar and suffering from premature ejaculation. I think there is a relationship here. And if you'll follow my train of logic through this video, I think you'll understand what I'm talking about and I think you'll want to be more intentional with how you choose to eat or not eat sugar. So I'll share a personal experience from my last week. Uh, usually I eat really, really healthy. And to me, what that means is I eat a lot of vegetables. When I do eat meat, I make sure it's really healthy meat. When I eat beef, it's grass-fed beef. I try to include a lot of fermented foods in my diet. I like kimchi a lot, I like sauerkraut, all kinds of fermented stuff really does wonders for my system. I try to avoid, or I do avoid processed sugar almost completely. I try to use honey when I sweeten things. Um, occasionally I, I will use maple syrup, but by and large, oh, also I, I almost completely avoid processed foods too. And yesterday, <laughs> yesterday I went to a gathering in the evening and somebody had made fresh cookies there. And this was a weak spot for me, you know? Uh, and I ate a cookie. And then this thing happened in my body. This thing happened where, you know, if you've ever gone for a while without eating sugar and then all of a sudden you eat some, it activates something in your brain. It activates something in your body where you're not gonna be satiated until you eat some more sugar. And then you're satiated for about, you know, a minute or so, and then your taste buds in your body and your brain is like, give me more sugar, give me more. And so I ate a cookie last night, and then I ate another cookie, and then I ate some fucking more, and it was just like sugar, sugar, sugar in my body. And it started this cascade of craving more sugar and wanting more sugar and not being satisfied and seeking that next hit of the rush of eating sugar. And so I ate more sugary things. And I don't do this generally as part of my life. And, and I find that, you know, not eating sugar helps keep me in this nice state of equanimity and my energy levels don't spike and drop and spike and drop and my mental clarity is so much better and you know all that stuff but yesterday when I did this I noticed that it changed the rest of my day and so when I went home and I started to do a self-pleasure session I had this I you know I had this mentality or this program running in my body that I needed to seek that next like boom that hit of pleasure which had been eating the cookie, which had been getting that rush of sugar. And in the self-pleasure context, the way that related was my body wanted that quick hit of ejaculation way more often than it ever normally does for me. And it was as if my system was geared more towards ejaculating because I had been priming it with going after the immediate hit of sugar, you know? And so last night when I was self-pleasuring, I did ejaculate and I did it it, it kind of caught me by surprise to be totally honest with you uh, and I'm not used to that and I'm convinced that eating sugar earlier in the day did that for me it put my brain and my body into this state of wanting that immediate response of pleasure versus that more sustained you know longer term pleasure that results in in all the stuff that I talk about on this channel and it just was something that was, you know, I've thought about this before, but I've never really connected the two in my experience, you know, sugar and ejaculation so, so notably, you know? And how does this relate to premature ejaculation? Well, last night in my self-pleasure session, ultimately, I ejaculated before I wanted to. And I could very easily have seen that if I was with another person having sex last night that I would have probably ejaculated before I wanted to because my body was so oriented towards going towards that hit of pleasure. Really wild, really wild experience. So what do you think? I'm curious to hear what you think about this. Like, leave a comment below. Um, have you experienced anything like this? I'd love to know. And yeah, that's it for this video. Subscribe if you want more videos like this. This is more of a casual vlog post sort of thing and I have some more uh, specific teaching oriented videos coming. And also in March, my semen retention mastery course is gonna run again as a group. So if you're interested in that, check that out, link below. All right, friend, see you next time. Peace.